Hey there, James here. What if I told you that there's an energy so powerful it can alter the very fabric of reality? An energy that defies our understanding of physics, transcends space and time, and can be controlled by the human mind. Sounds like science fiction, right? But what if it's not? What if this energy is real and has been scientifically studied? External Chi, two simple words that carry a weight of mystery and potential. But what exactly is it? In the realm of Yanshin life science technology, external Qi is described as a form of energy that can be emitted by trained practitioners. It's not something you can see or touch, but according to numerous scientific studies, it's something that can profoundly affect the physical world around us. At the center of this scientific enigma is Dr. Yan Xin, a man who claims to harness and emit this mysterious external Qi. Now you might be thinking, come on James, a man who can emit energy that's straight out of a comic book. And you know what? I get it. It sounds incredible. But what if, what if it's true? Dr. Yan Xin isn't just some self-proclaimed guru. He's a figure who has intrigued scientists enough to warrant serious, rigorous study. Let's start with something that sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Crystals that glow when exposed to this mysterious energy. In one of the key experiments, scientists used something called thermoluminescent dosimeters, or TLDs. These are special crystals that light up when exposed to radiation. They're typically used to measure radiation exposure in places like nuclear power plants, but here's where it gets weird. When Dr. Yan Xin directed his external chi at these crystals, they lit up. And not just a little bit, we're talking about readings five to ten times higher than normal background levels. But it's not just crystals that seem to dance to the tune of external chi. Water, the very substance that makes up most of our bodies, appears to be susceptible to this mysterious force. Using a technique called Raman spectroscopy, which is like taking a molecular fingerprint of a substance, scientists observed something astonishing. When exposed to Dr. Yan's external chi, the molecular structure of water changed. Now, you might be thinking, so what? Water changes all the time when we heat it or cool it. But here's the kicker. These changes weren't caused by any known physical forces. No heat, no pressure, no electromagnetic fields just the intention of Dr. Yan Shin, and even more mind-bending. These changes persisted for hours after the Qi emission ended. It's as if the water had a memory of the energy it was exposed to. But how is this possible? What mechanism could allow water to remember an energy that we can't even directly measure? Now let's venture into the realm of the atomic. One of the most fundamental principles in physics is the decay rate of radioactive materials. It's so consistent that we use it to date ancient artifacts and even measure the age of the Earth. But what if I told you that this supposedly immutable law of physics might not be so immutable after all? In a series of experiments that would make any physicist's head spin, scientists exposed a radioactive isotope called americium-241 to Dr. Jan's external chi. Using incredibly sensitive equipment, they measured the decay rate before and after qi exposure. The results? The decay rate changed. Not by a little, but by up to 10%. To put that in perspective, it's like suddenly discovering that the speed of light isn't constant. It's a finding that, if confirmed, could shake the very foundations of physics. But the scientists weren't content with just one method of measurement. They wanted to be absolutely sure. So they turned to another technique, using something called a solid-state nuclear track detector. This method directly counts the alpha particles emitted during radioactive decay. It's like counting the ticks of a very, very precise atomic clock. And once again, the results were mind-boggling the emission of alpha particles changed by up to 12% after exposure to external chi. This wasn't just a fluke or a measurement error, it was a clear, repeatable effect that defied our current understanding of nuclear physics. But how? What force could possibly be influencing the very heart of atoms, making them dance to a rhythm we can't yet comprehend?
Now you might be thinking, okay James, this is all very interesting, but surely this chi stuff only works when Dr. Yan is right there in the lab, right? Well, prepare to have your mind blown even further. The effects of external chi were observed not just at short distances, but at long and even ultra-long distances. We're talking about Dr. Yan influencing experiments from thousands of kilometers away, and it gets even weirder. The effects of external chi showed a kind of temporal flexibility. Sometimes the changes would persist long after the chi emission ended. Other times, they would revert back to normal. It's as if this energy could stretch and compress not just space, but time itself. But how is this possible? What kind of force could operate beyond the constraints of distance and time that limit every other known physical interaction? Perhaps the most astounding aspect of all these findings is the apparent controllability of external chi. Dr. Yan could increase or decrease decay rates at will. He could induce forward or reverse chemical reactions. He could target specific substances or processes while leaving others unaffected. This level of control suggests something almost unthinkable, that consciousness itself might be able to directly influence physical reality at a fundamental level. But how? What mechanism could possibly allow human intention to reach into the realm of subatomic particles and energy fields? Are we on the verge of discovering a new fundamental force of nature, one that bridges the gap between mind and matter? This unusual scientific study leaves us with more questions than answers. The research into external chi challenges our assumptions about the fundamental forces of physics. It suggests a universe far stranger and more malleable than we ever imagined. A universe where the power of the mind might be able to reach directly into the fabric of reality. As we continue to explore this research, we must approach it with the rigor and skepticism that define good science. We must question, test, and verify. And above all, we must remain open to the possibility that there's still so much we don't know about the nature of our reality. And as always, thanks for watching. And remember, the next time you look at the world around you, ask yourself, what if reality is far more flexible, far more mysterious than we ever imagined? What if the power to shape that reality lies not just in our hands, but in our minds? If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. We truly appreciate your support.